my mare. And, um, here's primordial okay. over here and over here. Egg nest, yeah. a little oocyte, and just it, it, it really is simple squamous cells around them. And primordial follicle is just hardly anything. So, but you've seen them on the slide. And then follicle stimulating hormone, mm -hmm. and a number of these start developing into primary. The, the O side is growing, it doesn't grow quite that much, but it's growing. And then the simple squamous cell, you can see are simple cuboidal, and they'll be they'll grow three or four layers where it's still a primary. Mm -hmm. So this is a primary, this guy is dying off. That's a tresia going on with this one. I know it's dying. Is it meant the middle part? Yeah, the it, it's all the whole thing is gonna die. Off. Okay. And then, um, and so after it's got three or four layers, then there starts to be a split between these um, granulosa cells, follicular cells or granulosa cells, and the fluid starts filling it. So this is the very beginning of a secondary um, follicle. And again, the oocyte is still growing. It's still, it's doing its own thing within the follicle. On the slide, I'll, I've, I've got some way better secondary follicles where you can really see some fluid between these. Yeah, that's that's why just I was barely yeah. started. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, <laughs> that's the way they represent it. And then the mature follicle, they represent all the way at ovulation. So you know that actually on your slide, that oocyte's sitting within the anthem. Mm -hmm. So you don't really have that on the mom. Yeah, this is a, a fluid filled anthrum, but now this has grown into a mature graphene follicle. It's pushed against the ovary wall, and now luteinizing hormone from the anterior pituitary is thinned out this wall, and now we're going to have ovulation like we saw on the that Brussels uh, um, uh, doctor doing that hysterectomy. And, and so that's what you're getting right there. Then, after ovulation, the fluids and blood comes in and the remaining follicular cells start taking in the fluids, the nourishment, especially the lipids, and those cells start proliferating until you get a solid structure, the corpus luteum. And it produces now, those cells now produce more progesterone than estrogen. So that's its main product. So can we do the graphene? This is part of the graphene follicle? Graphene mature it become tertiary. It becomes the corpus luteum? This structure, these remaining cells, become this. Here's a here's a 3D model of it and there's a cross section through it. Then that sticks around for about 12 days producing progesterone. If nothing happens in the uterus, if there's no implantation, then this starts to shrink. Fibrocytes start turning it into a corpus albicans. Um, and then from that it'll turn it into scar tissue. Oh, here was, here was this, this is between ovulation and corpus luteum. But we didn't even talk about it. Is this but like when the egg leaves? It yes. kind of comes, attaches? And yeah, the egg, the egg leaves and then the fimbriae of the uterine tube hopefully sweeps it into the uterine tube. And this is showing these follicle cells are now starting to um, divide and, and eventually will divide enough to break this structure. Okay. Thank you. Thank so you. So on the test, this would be the answer. Yeah, I've asked that too. What is this um, hollow space in the structure? Okay. No,